Welcome, folks. So in the last video, I mentioned how there are these impossible constructions that the ancient Greeks didn't know how to do with straight edge and compass. And only much later was it proven using algebra that these constructions were impossible. Let me give you just a hint or a taste of the algebra involved. And this will be intentionally be, be quick. So we've learned about subgroups, subrings, subfields in this class. A different language for that in the case of fields is extensions. So when F is a subfield of K, we say that K is a field extension of F, okay? So this is just language coming from the branch of math called Galois theory, named after the mathematician Galois, right? So if F is a subfield of K, we say K is a field extension of F. Now field extensions have degrees. It turns out that if um, K is a field that contains F, then you can think of K as a vector space over the field F. And the degree of a field extension is the dimension of the vector space K viewed as a vector space over F. So examples, R is a field contained in the complex numbers and the degree is two. And that's because the complex numbers can be viewed as a vector space over the reals with a, a dimension two. Oops. All right, so you can write any complex number in terms of some product of one plus some product of i. So this is a, um, the, the complex numbers are a vector space over the reals of dimension two, where your basis is one, there's sort of a hidden one here next to a and i. All right, the degree of the rationals contained in the rationals adjoined the square root of two is also two. And that's because you could write the rationals adjoin the square root of two as a set of all things of the form a plus b square root of two, where a and b are, re are, are uh, rationals. So now again, our um, vector space has dimension two. The two basis elements are this hidden one here and the square root of two. By contrast, the degree of Q contained in the rationals adjoined the square root, the cube root of two is three. All right. So it turns out that straight edge and compass constructions correspond to field extensions. And they're always field extensions of the rationals of degree, which is a power of two, okay? And then the reason why doubling the cube is impossible is because to double the cube, you'd have to construct the cube root of two, but that's a field extension of degree three. If you wanted to construct, um, if you wanted to square the circle, you'd have to construct this field extension where you would join pi. And pi is transcendental. It's not algebraic, which means this has degree infinity. And, and similarly, if you wanted to trisect an angle, that would also correspond to a um, field extension of, of degree three, which is not a power of two. So I haven't explained all this fully, but it's just giving you a taste of the algebra that's involved here, showing that these various constructions with straight edge and compass are impossible was actually proven using things like fields and subfields and, and, the, and the relationship between how one field is contained in, in an extension thereof. Thanks.